All right. Hey, everybody. I believe that we are live. I'm Erin Schoenberg. I'm reporting here from the Center for Rural Affairs. It's noon on Tuesday, and every Tuesday we do a short segment called the Rural Report, and we report on fun and exciting and valuable resources, information, events that are happening with our organization, things that you might want to be involved with. So this week I'll be talking about some of our farmers market work that's taking place in rural communities throughout Nebraska. So I'm going to just kind of take it slow this first minute or so, see if we get a few more folks joining us. So I'll go ahead and just reintroduce myself and the center. And thanks again. If you are here, I'd love if you said hello um, in, the, in the chat or in the comment section. I've got a colleague helping me with that. So if you have questions throughout this short segment, you can drop them in there as well. And we'll either handle them live or I'll pop back in later and get back to you. But again, I'm Erin Schoenberg. Hello, I'm with the Center for Rural Affairs. And we're a nonprofit that is based in Northeast Nebraska, but we've got people working um, far beyond um, Lyons as well. We were founded back in 1973, and we exist to build more vibrant rural communities. We do that through a lot of different ways. We've got a policy team. We've got um, you know, entrepreneur assistance. We help small business owners throughout the state. We also work um, on food sovereignty issues and do a lot with family farmers and ranchers as well. And today, like I mentioned, we'll be talking about rural farmers markets and a great new web page that just launched that has a lot of great resources um, if you are interested in supporting farmers markets. It is called Vamos a Poyar, and that means um, a literal translation would be we are going in order to support. So go to grow, vamos a apoyar. And so what that's really getting at is why do we go to the farmer's market? What are some of the reasons that we um, have to, to, um, to strengthen those farmer's markets? And so we want to go to grow family farms. We want to go to grow the local economy. We want to go to grow your community. And so there are two web pages that today I'd like to uh, make sure everyone knows about. So you can go to these web pages and support farmers markets and learn more about you know, where you can even access this great local food. And um, so what you'll need to do is um, type in whichever URL works for you based on um, the language you're most comfortable with. In English, you'll be going to buylocalnebraska.org slash go hyphen to hyphen grow. And in Spanish, it's buylocalnebraska.org slash vamos dash apoyar. And it was a really big priority for us when we partnered with Nebraska Extension and Buy Fresh Buy Local Nebraska to have an all Spanish webpage. And you know, why did we want to do that? We want to make sure that everyone has um, that language accessibility to the same resources. And so the web page in Spanish was one first step for us to do that. We know that there are you know, many other languages out there that um, ideally will be able to keep making progress toward increasing that accessibility for more people. But right now we've got our English web page, we've got our Spanish web page. And um, what you will find when you go there is many different, um, many different resources. We've got a map. And so wherever you are in the state of Nebraska, you can find the closest farmer's market to you. We've got links that will take you to the Nebraska Department of Ag's website. That way you can find specific producers. You can find information on who the local market manager is in case you need to contact them. We also have links to recipes and we have producer stories. And so again, in English or in Spanish, you can read more about the background of some of the farmers that you will find there at the market. Um, a couple of the other resources there, we have information on if you are interested in accepting SNAP at your market, which is another way, you know, in addition to um, language, it's another way we can increase access to, to the market is by um, helping people accept SNAP benefits when they're shopping. 
We also have some resources um, about COVID and certain precautions that you know, might be in place, either required or recommended to keep yourself, your family, and your community safe. And then we have um, something that um, in the past has been called the 12 reasons to support local farmers markets. That again, you can find it in English, you can find it in Spanish too. So we really want to just do what we can to make these resources available for everyone. And there are a few other things that Extension by Fresh by Local and the Center for Rural Affairs are doing to keep pushing that you know, those Spanish languages, language resources forward. And that would be um, signage this year. We're also working on um, putting together some signage that will be able to be displayed at the markets and perhaps even at individual vendors booths that will do a couple different things. First, we wanna make sure that everyone feels welcome at the market. And so there will be welcoming language in English and Spanish. And then we will also be able to help share what types of payments can be received at the market. You know, certain markets are cash only, um, other markets might have, um, you know, credit, debit, EBT, they might have um, tokens. Sometimes you can exchange um, cash or use your card to get a wooden token that you can use at various booths. And then at the end of the day, those vendors can turn in the tokens and get paid back from the market manager um, through check or cash. So we want to make sure that when you're at the market as a shopper, whether English is your first language or not, it's going to help break the ice to have these bilingual signs that say, hey, first of all, you are welcome here. Come on in, shop with us. And then you'll also know right away, oh, they don't, they don't take checks at this market or, oh, they, they accept SNAP, that's great. Um, I've, I've got my EBT card, I can run that. And so that just helps to break the ice, make people feel comfortable and helps make that you know, fresh, local, healthy food available for everybody. So we're really excited about Vamos a Poyar. We're excited about Go to Grow and this project and just helping move forward um, accessibility to local food in the state and help those rural farmers markets thrive. So to find out a little more, we'd love if you would visit those web pages. And of course, those links are going to be in the comments. That'll take you straight to those websites. We've got the different project partners listed there, as well as some other great resources that we are just continuing to add through, um, through those pages in the future. We'll be linking to um, a toolkit in the future, and we'll have more training sessions. If you're a vendor or if you are a market manager, um, stay tuned for that. And we've got some other ways to connect. So if any of this is of interest to you, be sure to reach out. My information will be in the chat as well. And with that, um, I think I covered everything. So thanks again for listening today. Be sure to look for the Rural Report next Tuesday as well. And hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.